hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing story time on the time that my nephew walked in on us um it is <laughs> a little embarrassing for me and um if you guys are family watching um it is tmi so it might get a little awkward just click out of this video if um it's a little too much for y'all but i'm just gonna get straight into the story um this happened a couple years ago while trying to conceive for my son um and the reason i say that is because i had like um on my phone i had a period tracker so it would tell me when i was ovulating and i remember that day it was like a morning <laughs> and it had said like my phone had let me know that um that i was ovulating <sighs> so you know i told my husband you know let's do this thing because i'm ovulating today um and it was it was in december i remember because um we had family over and at the time we were living in an apartment with um my sister-in-law we like rented a place a, a, part, a two bedroom apartment at the time and um our our room had like two doors so one to the bathroom and then one to like to the living room or whatever um to the rest of the house and um and that door did not have a lock i don't remember if the other one had a lock but for sure that one did not have a lock and at the time we none of us had kids like they didn't have kids and we didn't have kids at the time so we wouldn't walk in on each other at all um it would only be when our niece and nephew were over um or I have nephews um but we usually they usually would never walk in so we never had a problem about not having a lock on our door but um that day we did have um we had both our niece and nephew over and um my husband's nana rest in peace oh my gosh nana i'm so sorry okay so <laughs> Ooh, embarrassing Okay, so I believe, like, my, my cuñada, she was, like, doing, like, I think she was doing, like, breakfast. And they were, like, in the living room. They had already been awake. And we were, like, you know, we slept in late. And we decided to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. And I remember also at the time, we were taking care of, like, a cat that was our friends, like, our neighbors. Because um, they had went out. I'm not even sure where they went. And they left the the cat to us so that we can watch the cat and little Liddy Lat that was the name of the cat <laughs> um that cat was like I think he was like always on people and just like bothering so um <sighs> I guess I don't know where, like where to go from the story but um so in the morning they were outside they were doing like breakfast or whatnot we were you know getting our thing on and i was on top um i i cannot forget obviously this was just way too embarrassing not to forget so i was on top um and i believe i did have clothes on or i had like the blanket on me i don't remember like exactly um but like i wasn't completely naked to where like you know he walked in onto like us naked completely um but yeah so he was bringing the cat inside our room to like i guess it was bothering them i don't know um so he was bringing the cat in and when he was bringing the cat in so first i'm gonna tell you guys like his reaction and then i'm gonna tell you guys like what our reaction was like to this scenario so first thing like he walks in and right when he walks in, like, he never knocked or nothing like that. I'm thinking that he thought we were asleep still, um, which I know he, he that's what he thought because we talked about it after. I'll tell you guys right now. But um, so, yeah, he he walked in and, like, he put the cat down and he goes, keep Lady Lat in here or something like that. But when he put the cat down, he, like, looked at us. And he like, it took him a couple of seconds. Like I cannot forget his face. He was so serious. He was like so um, scared. Like, I don't know what it was. His face was like, 
what did I just see? So he like realizes after a couple seconds, I think he put two and two together and he like shut up. He didn't say nothing else. He just walked out and closed the door and it was so freaking awkward. So when he walked in, like I obviously being on top, like I obviously got off of um, off of him like real freaking quick, but it was like too late. Like he realized right away like what had happened. And um, the reason I'm laughing is because this is like just this is too embarrassing. Um, but yeah, so he freaking um, I got off, and I think Junior said why didn't you knock or something like that and I was like oh my gosh like it's not even his fault like you know shit happens whatever um but yeah so freaking after that I was like telling my husband I was like oh my god like I don't even want to go out there like what have you told your nana and that's embarrassing and Oh my gosh, it was like so awkward. I remember telling my queen out like after, I was like, oh my gosh, like that happened. And she's like, it's okay, like, you know, but I was like, no, like it's not okay. That's gonna stick with him. And so, whatever that happened. So, fast forward to, and at the time, I believe he was like 14, about to be 15 years old, or 15 years old. Yeah, he's about to be 15, I, I believe. I believe this happened in December of 2015 to be exact so yeah he's 19 now so yeah um but yeah so anyways that happened so this nephew of ours is um so this is actually his sister's son and he um lived with us for like uh his whole 12th year of um high school he lived with us so we got really close so we talked about it one time and he's like oh my gosh i cannot like i can never forget that day um i just like can never forget it um it was so awkward and he like explained to us like how he felt he didn't know what to do and um he didn't realize till i said like till a couple seconds after like he didn't re realize right away because he still like kind of talked like he was like oh um here's Liddy." And before he even said Liddy Lat, like that's when. <laughs> um, but yeah, he said it was awkward. And he did tell us that. He did tell his Nana um, that he had walked in on us. And um, I don't even remember what he said that his Nana had, um, had said. Like that it's normal. I don't even know. Like he should have knocked. I don't remember what, but it's still embarrassing. Um, so yeah. Sorry to my nephew for walking in on us. Um, I love you, Angel. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to watch that. And yeah, so that's story time, you guys. It is so freaking, oh my gosh. All I gotta say, moral of the story is lock your doors. Lock your doors. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys on my next video. Bye.